The Bible says no drunkard is going to enter the kingdom of God. So my friends, if you don't come to the Lord and repent from your debauchery and turn away from your drunkenness and turn away from your life of debauchery, my friend, you will die a sinner and you're going to go to hell. Ma'am, you are very prideful and arrogant in your sin. Don't you know you can die and you're going to go to hell? You can come to the Lord, but you must be humble. If you are not willing to humble yourself, ma'am, you're going to die in your pride and you're going to go to hell. For God sent his son Jesus into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God has sent his son Jesus into a wicked and rebellious generation so that sinners could be saved from the judgment because of sin. But we live in a God-hating, God-rejecting generation where most people, they're on the broad way that leads to destruction and they don't care about their souls. And my friends, I'm warning all of you, you all have a chance, ma'am. You stick the middle finger, but one day you're going to own up to, you, to your soul in front of God. We love you and we care for you, but you got to repent. We love you enough to tell you to turn from your sins, turn from your drunkenness. Stop living the nightlife. If you're having fornication, sexual sin, sexual morality, ma'am, you're going to die in your sins and you're going to be judged and my, you're going to go to hell. And God has appointed a day of judgment where you're going to give an account for your life. You can be healed from the anger of your heart. You don't have to keep chasing the bottle and try to satisfy yourself with the pleasures of sin. You can repent and believe the gospel, but if you choose to continue on in your rebellion, you are going to go to hell. Hell awaits all those who refuse to come to the Lord and repent. Hell awaits all those who choose to live in rebellion and live in their life of debauchery. The Bible says that those who name the name of Christ, they must depart from iniquity. There is sin, and sin brings judgment. And my friends, we will all stand and give an account for our lives. The Bible says that it will be a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. And we live in a generation that is hell-bent on their way to hell. They are not caring about their soul. They are out here drinking and drugging. They are out here partying, sir. You stick the middle finger, sir, but there's a day of accountability coming for you. They out here drinking and drugging. They hate the preaching of the gospel. And this is what the Bible says, that this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world. But men, they love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. The light has come into the world, and that light is Jesus. Jesus has came into the world, and he died for your sins. But this generation of rebellious people, they hate the light because their deeds are evil. They love the darkness, and they hate the light. That's why they op oppose the preaching of the gospel. They oppose the preaching of God's word. The word of God is an offense to a wicked and adulterous generation. And my friends, we are warning you today that if you do not get right with God, you are going to die in your sins and you are going to be judged. Come to the Lord. Give your life to God. Stop playing games. God is not playing games. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, all that is of the world, it is not of the Father. And the world is passing away in the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. He who does the will of God, the Bible says, abides forever. And God's will is that you humble yourself and come to the mercy seat of God. God's will is that you humble yourself and turn to his son, Jesus Christ, that you might find salvation for your soul. For God takes no delight in the destruction of the wicked, but that the wicked should turn and that they should live. God's delight 
is that rebellious and wicked people would humble themselves and that they would come to the mercy seat of his son Jesus. For there is no other name underneath heaven that man can be saved, but only through Jesus, my friends. Jesus died for your sins. Jesus shed his blood and he was resurrected on the third day so that you can find redemption for your soul. But my friend, if you keep living in your rebellion, you are going to die in your debauchery and you are going to go to hell. Hell awaits all those who die without the salvation of God. Hell awaits all the arrogant, prideful opposers of the gospel. Hell awaits all those who are mockers and scoffers. All those who refuse to humble themselves, they will be humbled at the judgment of God. But you must be willing to come to the Lord. If not, you will face the judgment for your sin. And we do live in a God rejection, rejecting, arrogant generation. And this is what the Bible says. That in the last days, that it would be like the days of Noah. That people would be eating and drinking. They would be marrying and giving in marriage. They would be rebellious. They would have murderous hearts. Their hearts would be full of violence. They would be God haters. And this is the generation we live in. A generation that's on its way to judgment, my friends. And God has sent us out here to send you a wake up call and to warn you that you are on a collision course with the judgment of God, my friends. And if you do not repent and come to the Lord Jesus Christ, you are going to die in your sins and you will be damned for all of eternity. You will spend an eternity of suffering because you have rejected your only means of salvation and that is Jesus mr. laughing man there's only salvation in Jesus mr. laughing man there's a going to be a day coming where all the laughing is going to end all the partying is all going to come in to an end you're gonna breathe your last breath sir and you're going to bear your judgment if you die without the salvation of the Lord for he who believes is not condemned, but he who does not believe is already condemned because they have not believed in the name of the one and only begotten Son. This world is condemned because of sin. This world is condemned because of iniquity. And God has sent his Son into the world as a Savior to salvage your wicked soul from the judgment of sin, but you must be willing to repent. If the sinner does not repent, he's going to die in his iniquities and he's going to go to hell. And this is what God wants all of you to know today, that you have a chance and you got a choice. You've got to make that choice before you breathe your last breath. Because the day of death is coming, my friends. There is a day of accountability. For it is appointed once for man to die and then after that the judgment. It is appointed once for man to die. And then after that, the judgment. It is appointed once for you to die. And then after that, the judgment. 